This just in. You don't need a greenhouse or a fancy light contraption, special grow lights to start plants from seed. Well, at least not legally anymore. No. Frank Flowers joins us today yeah. with tips and tricks for starting your own seeds indoors and out. And guess what? The countdown's on, friends. Today marks one month until spring. You got it. And these pictures get here started, are then. kind of a behind-the-scenes look of uh, Bradford Greenhouses, my family business, Love where... It. Seeds are starting, a whole lot of seeds right now. We're just wow. doing some planting of pansies at this current time, getting ready. Um, so let's talk about seed starting. So first off, seed starting is not for... Everyone. Not for everyone, <laughs> no. Why do you look at me? But look there, at D2. But there is. Uh, there's, okay, I'm going to get you guys to pick. Out of all these seeds right here, what are probably the easiest ones for you to germinate that are on the table right now? Okay, Frankie, um, I love a good pun. I'm going to yeah. say so easy because it's called that. No. No. Uh, flowers. No. no. Oh, herbs. No. Herbs are going to be there. Which no. one? The easiest thing that you can do with your kids, if you want to get into seed starting right away, is just sprout some seeds. Sprouts, because they sprout. Yeah, so these can be done in a paper towel. Okay. You can just put them in a paper towel, moisten that paper towel, and what will happen is over the course of about 7 to 10 days, they'll start to sprout, mm -hmm. and then kids can put them right into their sandwich, in their salad, they can mm. eat them. That's an immediate reaction. It's really a great way to get kids into nature. So you guys were saying, you were saying so easy, and yeah. yeah, the reason why they have these seeds which are so easy, if you've ever seed started, and some of the seeds are smaller, so when you try to go and sow those seeds, they're really hard to work with. Yeah. So the so easy seeds actually have a coating on them, makes them a little bit larger, and then also improves their germination. So that's why they are so easy. Is that them here? That is something totally oh. different. Okay. That's the whole thing with <clears throat> seed starting, there's so many different options. This here is what's called a seed tape. That's what you're going to put directly into your garden later on. And by doing this, you're just going to put it in the ground and then put soil over top. It'll just germinate for you. So is you there see, nutrients in that thing then? No, nothing, but is they're spaced out. See how they're spaced geez. out? Yes. Yeah. And then with that, so easy as well. No, but the key is when it comes to seed starting, so these guys here, which seeds should you be starting right now? Well, we were wrong on which ones are the easiest, so let's be wrong on the... Probably ones that are going to take, obviously, have a, need a longer growing season. Right, that's it. Which I would, I'm going to guess, maybe the, the veggies? Well, some of the veggies. Yep. So some of the veggies, for instance, radishes, they're going to go directly in the garden. So you've got to make sure when you're going to pick things right now. So people get super excited. They're like, I'm going to start seeds, and they go buy a whole bunch, and you don't need that many tomato plants. And then they get kind of confused. So when it comes to things right now like tomatoes and peppers, you can start your tomatoes and peppers at this time of year. Mm -hmm. But you can see right here, Raj, on the back of that, what does that say? Oh, you're asking me to read it without my glasses? What does it say? It says start, start indoors. indoors six to eight weeks before last frost. So last frost in Toronto, I usually like using about May 15th or May 7th. Yeah. So then what you do is you look at this way after you buy your seeds, you go to your calendar, you count back six to eight weeks, and then in your calendar or in Outlook, you start sow tomatoes. So peppers, then you'll go down and you'll say, so some of your flowers you'll, and parsley is a little bit later on. This is about four to six weeks. By doing that, you're going to start a seed sowing calendar because the number one failure for seed sowing is too early. You start them too early indoors, so people actually Can they fail. be too big then when you plant them? No, what happens is they stretch, they become weak, and often they die out indoors. Oh, oh really? Okay. So to help, once you figure that out, what you're going to do is get a right type of soil. You're going to get a seed starting soil, mm -hmm. and then you're going to put this right across. You want to make sure that you're going to be using something that has good drainage. And if you're wondering, feel that. Feel that there. Oh, heat Heavy? pad. Oh, it's warm. Yeah. It's, a heat, yeah. it's a heating mat. So what you're going to do with the heating mat is you're going to put the tray on top. We're going to sow our seeds into the tray. Mm -hmm. That heating mat is going to increase. We're going to water it. That's going to increase the temperature. And then we're going to pop over this right over the top. The reason why we're doing that, number one, traps humidity in. The heat on the body and bottom of this will improve the germination rate. So not okay. only does it help the amount of seeds that germinate, it speeds it up almost double. So how often are you watering that? So when you're going to water it once, and not often at all because it's trapped and there's not a lot of evaporation that's mm. happening. Then and what, what you're going to do is you're going to miss it. As soon as well, you're going to keep this on, you're going to see the little seeds come up. And as soon as they got about three to five leaves, this comes off. This comes Pop off. Pop it off. How yeah. And you leave the heat on all the time? No. Once the germination has finished, then we're going to remove that mat out of there. So often what people used to do was they would germinate their seeds on top of a refrigerator because mm -hmm. older refrigerators yeah, okay, would have yeah. the heat on the top. Yeah. Well, now newer refrigerators don't have that. Yeah. So you, you get a heating mat. Forget about it. They're going to dig what? in the dirt. A pet. Well, that's the whole idea is that if you don't have space, you don't have time, and you don't need that many plants, don't seed start. Yeah. If you want to seed start and you want to have the fun of it, do some sprouts or do some herbs, do some little things. Okay, when you're planting the seeds, soil wet or dry when you first put them in? 
when you're, uh, you like want what, to should it be dry so, like that? Yeah, no, moist first. You want it moist first. Yeah, okay. and the other part too is if you can soak the seeds for 24 hours before germinating, some yeah. of the larger ones, it'll improve their germination because it actually uh, weakens that outer layer around that seed. Makes so it are we open up. planting or sprinkling the seeds? We're going to be putting them, usually in each one of these, you usually put one to two seeds. The reason why you're doubling up is one doesn't germinate, you have the other one that's there, and then you'll start to thin those out over time. There's a Beautiful. whole lot of stuff. Wow. I just kind of go, I just skimmed over it a Frankie little bit. Frankie just planted the seed, and you could do the rest in terms of getting the info. I had to do it, okay? For more yeah. information at Frank Veragini. Yep, or FrankieFlowers.com. Or go check it out at Bradford Greenhouse. And this is for you, Dee. Let's see how the roads are doing. Oh, well, uh, for you. 